Today the Gospel speaks of when Jesus went into the desert for the 40 days. And the devil tried to tempt him while he was there, but also an angel came to help him. Now why would Jesus have to go to the desert? Well, I suspect that Jesus, before he went to the desert, realized that God called him to do something great. And that was to preach the good news. But he had to figure out what God wanted him to do and how he wanted him to do it. So he went to the desert to pray and to figure it all out. The devil tempted him and he ignored him, but then the angel came and helped him see. So Jesus was able to prioritize and organize what it was that he needed to do so that he could go out and preach the good news to people. This is similar to what priests go through. Every year we're required to go on a retreat. I always take my retreat during the month of August. And I do that because it's a wonderful time for me to go to a quiet place, a retreat center, and look at my relationship with God, and also to look at my previous year, and then to examine what I might be able to do in the coming school year, as I call it. And it helps me understand my relationship with God and with people but I also am able to look at what prevents me from being closer to God and what I can do to improve as a priest to serve people better. When I'm done with my retreat, I am refreshed and renewed and ready to start a new school year. It would be so nice if each and every one of us had the ability to go on a retreat, but we're all busy with our lives, our work, our families, and that's understandable. And that's the reason why the church gives us Lent. Forty days where we can sit and look at our relationship with God every single day to try and figure out what God wants from each and every one of us and for us to be able to recognize what prevents us from having that relationship with Him and with other people. Jesus went to His quiet place, which was the desert, where He had no distractions where it was quiet and he could think about what he needed to do. And that's why I go to the retreat center, where I have no distractions, and I can think about what I need to do. It's important that during Lent, each of us find time every day and find a place where we can pray and contemplate. And maybe that would be at church, because many of them are open. Or maybe even you could go into your bedroom for some quiet time, just 15 minutes every day to think and pray. And I'm so sure that if each of us did this every single day during the 40 days of Lent, that this would help us understand God more and help our relationship with Him. And it would help us know how we can improve ourselves to be closer to God and to help other people.